If you like dirt and mud and speed and learning how to build things, then the Society of Automotive Engineers and the MSU College of Engineering might have just what you're looking for. It's a dirty job, but, well, you know the rest. Okay, it's raining, it's muddy. What are we doing here today? This is the Michigan State Baja SAE Proving Grounds. Um, we are the off-road racing team for Michigan State University. And uh, we're going to be taking these cars out. You're going to be taking these cars out. You're going to let me do this or not, do you think? We can let you drive. We can let you drive a little bit today. Yeah, we're going to drive around on the grounds, roll it over a little bit, get a little muddy, get a little dirty. You're going to roll it over. I'm not going to roll it over. <laughs> right. How did this team get started? I mean, did you guys just decide to be fun to play in the dirt and the mud, or how did it come together? Oh, that's a little bit. That's a little bit of it. Um, the Society of Automotive automotive engineer sponsors um, a bunch of different collegiate design series teams, um, Baja SAE being one of them. Um, so it, since the late 80s here at Michigan State, we've had a Baja SAE racing team. How is the team done? You guys compete, you're out there, you're running, is it like a regular race circuit? Um, yeah, in the past 10 years we've actually had seven top 10 finishes in international competitions and that includes up to 150 teams from over 10 different countries all over the world. So um, in the past two years, we placed fourth place in the World Challenge, getting beat only by Brazil, Canada, and Tennessee Tech University. And then last year, we got a Special Innovation Award for having the first successful four-wheel drive Baja SAE vehicle. Now, do you have to be in engineering to be part of this team, or is it open to anybody Absolutely on campus? Absolutely not. Anybody from any major can join the team. We do uh, everything from marketing to a sponsorship to business to driving to engineering to designing all different aspects of engineering as well so and you tell me this is educational it's not just about running around that you're learning real Absolutely. practical <laughs> things that help you it's a, it's a real university activity right right key things that you don't learn in the classroom um, Right, when you're on the side of the track in the middle of an endurance race and you have 30 seconds to figure out how to fix your suspension to get back in the race, you know, a little bit of 2 by 4 some rebar and some duct tape, that's the kind of engineering we're talking about here, you know? This is like duct tape engineering. <laughs> that's this... right. Okay, cool. All right, Ken, so this looks pretty, did you, you got a spot? Yeah, there's a little bit all over the place. That was that was nice. That was so. Was this like a typical day out here for you? Or? I mean, it, it doesn't always get this wet, but uh, yeah, this is what we do. And this is our test course. We come out here and do driving. And I mean, this is good because on the races it could rain like this. So it's good to uh, you know get testing in any type of weather, any type of conditions. And as long as it's not pavement, we can drive through it. This t team is a complete team. We design the car, so we learn how to do that initially. And then you build the car that you've just designed. And then obviously the ultimate goal is to race and win. So you have to be able to do all three of those things well to be you know, a good competitive team. Our shop is completely self-sustainable. We got every tool we need, um, which is real nice, with lathes and mills you know, to make. Everything you see on this car that looks made by us, it was made by us. Well, the idea is to come out here and drive it hard and try and break it because if something breaks, it means you didn't build it strong enough and you have to go back and redesign it. So we want it to break here on our course in controlled environments where we've got the tools and got the ability to check out what's wrong, go back and you know make it better. So when we're at the race doing our four-hour endurance race, it, uh, if so, we're not going to see that same failure. And uh, you guys, you said you're willing to let me get behind this? and Yeah, if, if you want to drive this, we'll strap you up in it and let you take it for a spin. Now, my, my director told me I can't go too fast because we're going to have cameras and stuff and I have to roll it. So I would normally just go crazy yeah. and, and just be flying around I, here. I but completely if, understand. If you don't see that, you know why. I'm not, I'm not wimping out. I, I, I'm with you. I mean, I, and I, I, I just wish I could be like you. Okay, so, you ready uh, to drive? I'm ready to drive. I don't know if I'm ready to drive. At least I'll look good, right? Right. Now, this is... Uh, this is called, just because it goes with my eyes? Yeah. No, it's called Nomex. In case you catch on fire, you'll still live. Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so in case I catch on fire, not right. when I catch on fire. It's, it's okay. never happened before, so. Okay. Not with a Michigan State car, anyway. Never say it's never happened before when there's a camera crew here. <laughs> Is this made for tall guys? All right, you ready to go? I'm ready. All right, it's all yours.
think? That was awesome. How'd it go? That was awesome. I got a little muddy. This um, is good. Yeah, you look a little different. Do I? You might need a shower. Okay. Well, that's good. So, give me out. So, like yeah, I said, so. it's nice and simple. Oh, that one? Pull, pull the latch pull up. The there, yeah. there you go. All right. <laughs> Man. Rah. And there you are. And that's Baja. Wow. Awesome. <laughs>